Should Britain ban pro-Palestine marches like France has? Tomorrow, 1,000 police officers are going to be diverted away from stabbings, domestic violence and rape, etc., to go and make sure that a load of people waving the Palestinian flag don't cross that line and commit a mass anti-Semitic hate crime in London. And let's be honest, it won't just be in London. Will it? No. So France has banned the protests. They got the water cannons out. They went in with batons. They whacked out the smoke grenades. We're seeing similar things, actually, in Rome in Italy. There we go. Right now, we're constantly told, aren't we, when you look at that, we're constantly told that we have to be the tolerant ones in this country. You know what? I'm sick of it. I'm actually sick of it. I think we are too tolerant of intolerance. Anti-Semitic hate has risen by about 400% in the last few days alone. We've got people tearing down protesters, uh, posters even, of missing Jewish children. We've got Jewish schools closed. We've got people taking off their stars of David and hiding their faith. I think it's ridiculous. We have no real push for people to integrate in this country. The second somebody speaks the truth, which is that multiculturalism has essentially failed and that we are importing groups of people who hate other groups of people while doing nothing to preserve or protect our own culture at all, they're shouted down. Our police force over here, they don't want to stoke racial tensions. Fine, I can understand that, absolutely. Often then they sit back, though, and just let things happen. The irony, of course, is that racial tensions have already been stoked and it's nothing to do with the vast majority of ordinary people walking our streets. We are now very often living with the racial tensions of some other nations and some other cultures and we just have to let that spill out on our streets. We do seem to have imported lots of extreme views, lots of extreme ideologies. I think we're going to see that play out on our capital streets tomorrow. I look at countries like Egypt. A country that claims to support Palestine and yet does not want to accept people from that Hamas-riddled region. I can't help but wonder if that tells you everything you need to know.